What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you've been watching my channel for a while right now, then you know that I love an investment opportunity. And today that's what we're here to show you. We're in the prestigious Dubai Hills and we're gonna be showing you a non-upgraded four bedroom E3 type villa, which you probably don't know what that is if you're not from Dubai. But that's a type of villa in Dubai Hills that has the potential to be upgraded and make you a lot of money. This particular villa is on the market for 7 million dirhams. Now I'm also going to be showing you throughout an upgraded version of this on the market for 17 million dirhams. So if you wanna learn how you can maximize your potential and renovate some of these amazing villas and make a lot of money then stay tuned and let's go right guys this is literally as raw as it gets we're in the front room now it's a beautiful open plan space but there's so much you can do especially with the fact that it's over 3,500 square foot built up area and over 4,500 square foot plot. Look, literally, the, there are still holes in the wall for where the last tenant was actually living here. So the fact that it's vacant makes it much easier because to actually find vacant villas in this area is actually pretty tough. Now, what you need to think about when you're renovating these villas is what do people like to see? So first of all, we're gonna see like a huge open plan window. And I'm gonna show you on the screen right now of what an upgraded version of this very room looks like. So take a look at this. Right guys, so one of the main things that happens when we actually renovate these villas is we try to find ways to increase the built up area, all right? And that's done by doing simple things like, you see this area here, we've got a patio door leading out to the garden, but we can actually extend this. So as I mentioned, this whole space here can be extended. So I just wanted to give you it on a visual scale. You can actually flush these walls off here, or at least almost flush, and extend this whole space out so you can actually see how big you can actually make this filler. You know, a lot of people don't realize because they go in there and they kind of see these small hallways. But actually, by creating this extra space, you make it into a huge space and it even feels way bigger than it is, especially when you put in open glass windows on there. It lets so much light in and it completely transforms the place. Now people say, oh, is it hard to get permits and all that kind of stuff? Well, listen, if you're knocking down the full villa and trying to rebuild it, it's really difficult. But if you're just trying to modify it and increase the built up area, you'd be surprised how quickly you can get the NOC and permits for this. All right, and as you can see, these are substandard finishing by Emar and it's just a basic kitchen. So as you can imagine, it's gonna be fully replaced into something incredible, probably gonna use gas our appliances something of the high quality because of the price point we're going to sell it at so as we take a walk down the corridor we've got the maids quarters to our left we don't do too much to this we might you know give it a little lick of paint or whatever but that's not something too much that we need to focus on but then as we come down to this end area here we've got access to the outdoor garage and then we've got the bedroom and then the bathroom is opposite me right here now generally what we see is this wall being removed and a door actually gets put in front of me here so you see how there's a space here the door will be actually put here and then there'll be the entrance to the bedroom with a huge ensuite from where we see this wall being completely knocked through. Now, obviously with every villa, it might be different structurally, but generally, they, well, all these threes are gonna be the same structure, but in different areas, you know, you might not be able to do certain things, but even with the older communities, we generally just see people trying to maximize the space and increase the built up area and opening things up to make it feel more luxurious and have much more space. So let's go and check up upstairs as well. So guys, as I mentioned, obviously this space over here can be extended. Now, because to me, these stairs feel quite pokey, right? They're just like quite closed off. I mean, what we see a lot is a big trend in floating staircases. So you imagine all of this gets knocked through, the whole staircase gets redesigned. And as we slowly start to come up here, do you see these two windows right here? Well, what is actually possible is to open this whole space up and create a huge open plain glass window, which actually lets in so much more light. And that's what we see in these upgraded villas. So let's go in a little bit further upstairs. Okay, so we're on the main sort of upstairs living room. This isn't really necessary. And you'll see a lot of people, what they do is this. They extend this part of the bedroom out and they create an ensuite. Because if we go through here, as you can see, both bedrooms are actually connected right now with a bathroom in the middle, like a Jack and Jill. But instead of having one bathroom for two bedrooms, 
What essentially we do is turn this one into its own ensuite by extending the area and actually just keeping this bathroom but upgrading it for the second bedroom here. So you see what I mean? It's just utilizing the space and making the most of what we can do in here the best as possible. All right, so as we make our way now, to the master bedroom, which is of course going to be the most luxurious part of the villa. We're gonna have our bathroom here, which as always, you know, the EMAR finish in the old quality is just something that people like to get rid of and then they re completely renovate the, uh, the bathrooms. Now on our left here is a walk-in wardrobe, but to be honest, as you know, most women, they like a much bigger walk-in wardrobe. Am I not right in saying that? Well, listen, right, you see this open space here. To my left, we have a balcony. Now, what a lot of people actually do is extend this balcony all of the way out. And now there's a few things you can do. In my opinion, I love a huge walk-in wardrobe with a carpet on the floor and obviously places to put, you know, his and hers stuff. Um, so that's obviously extended out. We've seen people add an extra bedroom. There's all sorts you can do. But the main thing is that we transform this room, extend the area from all different angles, create a much nicer ensuite, and then all of a sudden you've got a luxurious, you know, huge master bedroom. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video tour. As you've seen, we've cut between a non-upgraded and an upgraded villa. So now you're probably wondering, okay, so how much does it cost? What can I make? That's the main question, right? So as I said, this is the cheapest E3 on the market right now. It's a corner unit, it is back to back, but the way we can make the garden more private, that doesn't matter. This villa is on the market for 7 million. As I said, the upgraded one is on the market for 17 million. Now, you're probably wondering how much does it cost to build? Well, obviously that depends on the level of luxury and the amount of like, you know, high quality, high finishing, high end stuff you wanna put in it. Now for somewhere, you wanna be somewhere in the middle for this kind of villa, because obviously it's not gonna be classed as ultra luxurious like Emirates Hills or the Palm. So you can expect somewhere between 2.5 and 3 million dirhams would transform this place into an incredible villa with all of the extensions included, all right? now. Can it be resold for 17 million? As of today, there have been no transactions at 17 million, but that's a good thing and I'll tell you why. If we look at somewhere like Jamira Islands, as soon as those villas started transacting when they were renovated for 25, 30 million, it made the basic ones that were not upgraded, that were on the market for six to eight million originally, they're now on the market unupgraded for 16 million dirhams. Why is that? Because the owners now know that people can profit and make a ton of money from these renovated villas and therefore they're not in a rush to sell. So even with the non-upgraded stuff, they're reselling them for a huge profit from their end at least. So what I'm trying to say is guys, if you wanna get in early enough, maximize the potential of a thriving area. If you don't know about Dubai Hills, it's an incredible area, probably the most in demand right now, especially for sports stars. If you see the types of people living here, you'd understand what I mean. So if you want to understand and learn how you can renovate and transform something like this, profit and make as much money as possible in the Dubai market, and you want a team of experts like myself, we can not only source you the property, we can help you renovate it, we'll help you manage it, we can even help you market it, we might even be able to resell it before it's even completed because we've done that before. So if you are interested in this, get in touch and I look forward to seeing you on the call and for now, have a great day.